Hello everyone, how are you doing? I'm Said and I'm back this week with a new video. Alright, let's go to the video. Ever saw a shooting star in the night sky and wondered how a star falls? Or is it really a star or some other foreign body that we see flying down? What is this flashy object called? A metal? An asteroid? Or a comet? How do we differentiate between these objects? It is important to understand every day Earth is bombarded with more than tons of space dust and other tiny objects. There are times um, when a car-sized asteroid enters the atmosphere of the Earth but burns even before reaching the Earth's surface. Alright, what is meteorite? When two asteroids collide with each other, there is a small piece that breaks off this asteroid. These pieces from asteroids after the collision is known as a meteorite. It is believed that meteorites usually um, originate with, from the asteroid belt which um, is present between the Mars and the Jupiter. The size of the meteorite might um, vary from less than half a gram to the tons. So, now I want to um, ask you a question. What is a meteor? Yeah, what is it? What is a meteor? When a meteorite hits the Earth's atmosphere, it does it with a high velocity which makes it look flashy and like a fireball in the sky. Therefore, shooting stars are actually meteors and not stars. There are different types of meteors depending on their sizes and their brightness. And how kind of the meteors we have? Types of the meteors. Air grazers are the meteors that streak um, close to the horizon and have the longest and vivid tails. Um, in 1972, Great Daylight Fireball was most famous air grazer. Fireballs are the common type of the meteor and they are bright and long lasting than air grazers. Their size may vary from a basketball to a small car. Bolides uh, are bigger than fireballs and they mostly explode in the atmosphere of the earth. Their explosion can be heard and felt on the earth's surface as they produce a sonic boom. Alright, meteor showers. When meteor showers um, occur, we can only see few meteors and the sky look like um, filled uh, with fireworks. When there is a meteorite shower, uh, we then notice that all meteor showers take place from one point and this point is known as as the radiant point. Right, radiant point. Meteor showers are named after the constellation. Um, constellation, constellation, the most commonly known meteor shower that is named after a const constellation is Leonid meteor shower. The shower appears um, to be falling from the constellation, but the source is comet temple Tot. Difference between a meteor and a meteorite. Let us look at differences between a meteor and meteorites to understand this um, concept better. The difference between a meteor and meteorites is important to know as people often think both of these terms mean the same, but it's not. To know more about the other difference like difference between asteroids and meteorites uh, or asteroids and comet differences is exist. Alright, and I think um, it's enough for today because I wanna um, I wanna make make two part this video. 
and this is the, the first one and next one is coming next week all right thank you so much for watching this video and i hope my english is better from the last one the last video and i am still working on my english thank you so much see you soon guys bye